The terrible irony in this situation is that if it weren't for the fraud that happened at the Employment Security Department earlier last year, then most likely the information of 1.4 million Washingtonians wouldn't have been compromised. We are absolutely committed to doing everything we can to mitigate the harm caused by this incident. State Auditor Pat McCarthy addressed the media about the massive data breach of a third-party vendor software. The data from state departments that the SAO was auditing at the time has been compromised. And that includes the Employment Security Department and the information of 1.4 million people who already have been hurting immensely this past year. This incident had multiple victims. We at the State Auditor's Office are one of them. The vendor is Excelion, and it's been used by the state for 13 years. But Excelion and the state are giving us different information regarding a timeline. Excelion is claiming they told their customers December 23rd, but weren't able to confirm until January 25th how badly the state was impacted, meaning personal information like account numbers was left vulnerable for weeks. Very unfortunate timing, very unfortunate series of events. Jesse Rothstein is the co-founder of Seattle-based ExtraHop, a cybersecurity company. He says that attacks like this are nearly impossible for a customer like the state auditor's office to see coming, and that it should be up to the vendor to prevent this and alert customers immediately. There needs to be some incentive you know, in, in, in the market for, for vendors to follow industry best practices around securing their infrastructure and their data, and of course, to um, you know, act accordingly when they do discover a breach. If you're concerned at all that your information might have been compromised, the State Auditor's Office has set up a web page with more information and next steps you might want to take. And if you text the word breach, the number you see on your screen, 206-448-4545, we'll send you a link to that. In Seattle, Vanessa Bashania, King 5 News. Vanessa, thank you. So King 5 was not able to reach former Employment Security Commissioner Susie Levine for comment. Today she was actually sworn in at her new job with the Biden administration. She's been hired as the Deputy Assistant Secretary of Labor for Employment and Training.